Hi, howdy, howdy. How are you doing today? Today I'm going to show you something very interesting, very beautiful. Nature's beauty, once again. Today I'm showing you the white water walk at the Niagara Falls. So this is all your guys' first time here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So right now we're just going down around 70 meters or 230 feet in a traditional 1920 style steel and brass elevator. As soon as we come to a complete stop on the bottom there, we're just going to exit to the right. There's going to be a tunnel, it's around 200 feet long and it does get pretty cold in there. So if you do a jacket or a sweater, I definitely put that on and zipping that up. But at the end there is the boardwalk, it usually takes around 30, 40 minutes to complete, but stay as long as you'd like. Whenever you're ready, just come right back. There's going to be a buzzer on our right hand side here. Just hit that and I'll bring you guys right back up. Thank you. Sites and you just go here, and what you see here is unimaginably beautiful. Super, super, super. That is the beauty. That is a bridge. This is the Canadian side and that's the American side. It's one of the many bridges between Canada and America. This is the great white water walk. This is the wooden bridge built. Uh, this is basically the white water walk bridge. So this is taking us further down to the river and more close to the action. It is so mesmerizing as you walk down this path. It says, the water is going at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. That is 40 kilometers per hour, 30 miles per hour. And also it says it's class six white water rapids. This is the beautiful walk. On the left you have a gorge, which is 23 floors down where, before coming to the river at the white water walk here the elevator just we came down in was about 23 feet high <laughs> 
uh, 23 floors high. How deep is the water? Everybody asks this question. And the answer is, is just 50 meters across the gorge. And it's 15 meters. So they say it ranges from 15 meters to 38 meters of the whirlpool itself. The deepest part is 98 meters. Huge rocks seem to have fallen from there and that's why they have the, you can see the fencing here. This is to prevent further uh, rock falling. As you can see this has fallen maybe thousands of years ago. How high are the water levels? Today being a long weekend because July 1st was Canada Day and now July 4th is the America Day on that side, that's why we have a lot of visitors to Niagara Falls and that's why we have a huge crowd here. I am not sure how many people can stand on that stage, but this is a beautiful point for photography. Look at the thunder. Try to listen to the thunder. Look at those huge waves. I'm really scared to go down there. It's so close. But you know what? For the sake of photography, for the sake of the beauty, for the sake of being even more closer to the nature, I will go down there. Let me go. This is how we have to fight our fears. Oh, there I am. Oh, beautiful. Wow, there's one more place to go down there. Even more closer to the water. I thought this was the end. Wow, look at this. I think that is a spot where you get wet because of the waves coming from here. But that's interesting, waves in the river with so much thunder, so much pressure, so much flow. Waves are expected. Look at that. This is the White Water Walk Bridge. And we have a board here which says Danger, do not go beyond this. Now, what does that mean? Do not go beyond this. Don't go back or don't go this way. Think about it. Let's go to the next level, which takes you even more closer to the falls. 
Do the water. This is as close as we can get to the waters, to touching the waters. I wonder why they keep an emergency phone call here. It's probably because of the nature of the area and where it's located. That's another question people frequently ask is why is that water so foamy? And this is the answer. This is again one of those common questions where people want to know what is on the other side of the gorge. That side, that side is all America. How interesting spot that is America that is the river between America and that's Canada and here you have a wonderful forest just like rainforest Amazon forest or whatever you'd like to call it there is so much information displayed here on the walls for you to stand and read to get all the history
Hobby Hobby. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful scene we've got over here. And why what I want. So beautiful. Words cannot explain the beauty. To the amazement that you get when you're here. You have to be here. You have to be here. Under the rushing of the water, the fresh air, so much oxygen in you. There's something so magical about this place. Yes. Everywhere surrounded with beauty, nature. You can spend a whole day here just staring, gazing at these level six rapids. Especially look at that one there behind me. But I think that because of the sun, you might not be able to see it very clearly. But those are level six rapids. That is a splash zone and that's why they have closed it because a lot of people get wet and it's slippery. Another thing I would like to remind the uh, viewers is this is a very easy walk. It is wheelchair accessible to most of the points and it's uh, pretty much a very easy walk. As I was saying, it's a very easy walk from the, uh, that point till here and it goes all the way up to there. Another, another important, interesting fact is the white water walk entrance is there. They have no toilets on the top floor or at the bottom, but they have toilets just across the street. Come here, next to this building, there is here, white water restroom. Another interesting fact, if you have paid if you bought the tickets for the Whitewater Walk, you do not have to pay for parking in this area as you get a ticket from the office and you can just display on the board. That saves you money. Point. This is the Whitewater Walk entrance and you have two parkings for this. One is here, right by the side of the road over there. That is the parking. The other parking is just across the street from Whitewater, cross the street and come here. You have a parking there. Uh, just one point of importance I'd like to tell you is if you're coming here to uh, the Whitewater walk, make sure you come here during the uh, morning hours before 12 in Canada because if you come here after 12 uh, the Canadian side is going to be all dark without sun as you can see and the sun is there in the American side as you can see it's very bright so if you come in in the morning the American side will be dark and the Canadian side will have plenty of light for photography and all that uh, but right now 
It's good for a video, but not so good for photos. As you can see there, it's extremely bright. And I am filming this at uh, in summer. This is July 3rd uh, of 2022, and the time now is 6. I hope you enjoyed this video of the white walk, white water walk along the Niagara Falls. You have to come to experience it. No words can explain it, as I told you earlier. But I think this is open only in summer because in winter this is covered with uh, snow and ice, so it's very slippery and dangerous. So make sure you come come here to make sure to make sure it's open. You can buy the tickets online, or you can come here and buy the tickets. Buy the tickets here. The parking becomes free for you. I hope you enjoy. Please give me a comment and let me know whether you like my videos and how I can improve them. Howdy howdy, have a wonderful day.